as a private jet operator, um, it sounds like an oxymoron that we want to take a leadership position on environmental issues. Uh, that's exactly what we're trying to do. The initial reaction is, is quite often a bit uh, cynical of, of environmental uh, activists or environmental NGOs. Nevertheless, when we have a chance to talk to them and explain in detail what we're doing, they, they have so far always been convinced that, that we're going the right way. We're obviously not in a regular scheduled airline business, and therefore we don't control what our customer, our owner, does with his jets or, or when and, and where he wants to fly. That's his choice because it's his jet. We're looking at anything we can do to fly the aircraft more efficiently in terms of at which speeds we fly for ferry flights, the procedures that we use for landing, procedures that we use for taxiing, takeoff. Um, we look at the aircraft themselves. Can we make uh, them any more efficient, lighter? Drag reduction technologies such as winglets. And um, we're actually investing into research for helping to develop clean, sustainable, low carbon fuels. As a company, we've decided that um, it's a very easy and simple step to take to offset all of your emissions through carbon credits. Um, these are all CDM uh, approved or in the pipeline for CDM approval uh, projects um, of reducing emissions around the world. Um, and we've made it a mandatory part of our, of our service. We currently are offsetting about 55% of all of our flight emissions and we have about 70% of all of our owners signed up to the program as of end of June 2009. In comparison, I, I don't have any figures because nobody publishes them from other uh, private jet operators and I don't see really any environmental uh, initiative or climate initiative from, from our competitors. We have so far three projects uh, that we've invested in and we're, we're currently just buying a fourth project. Um, so these are all projects that are vetted under the United Nations Kyoto Protocol Clean Development Mechanism. We've co-financed and helped help finance a small hydro project in China. It's important to mention that it's small because that means it's, it's not one of these projects where whole valleys get flooded, but it's actually the natural flow of the river and you just pick up the energy from the river flowing downstream. For the future, we're, we're looking always for new and good projects. So we're working with different NGOs and offset providers, offset developers, to, to get our heads around and to, to help get some of these projects off the ground.